The case of Nadia Savchenko is known all around the world. The Ukrainian pilot was kidnapped, brought to Russia and sentenced to 22 years of prison for a crime she did not commit. Her courage and willpower made her an international symbol of freedom. But Russian propaganda outlets used her as yet another object to incite hatred between Ukrainians and Russians and justify Russia's covert war against Ukraine. Not everybody knows that Savchenko is only one of the Kremlin's Ukrainian hostages. The Let My People Go campaign advocates for their release. There are at least 28 of them, and their number keeps growing. Some of them are representatives of the indigenous people of Crimea, who oppose Russia's occupation of their historical homeland. Some are accused of terrorism and extremism for their public activism and opposition of the occupation of Crimea. Russian TV created so-called punishers out of others, claiming that they tried to annihilate the population of Donbass. Yet others were accused of participating in the war in Chechnya 20 years ago, together with Ukrainian ex-Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk. Three are accused of spying and state treason. Two are persecuted by Russia for taking part in Ukraine's Euromaidan revolution. One is a hostage because of who his father is. They all have one thing in common, they are being persecuted for political reasons in court cases using fabricated evidence. Like in Stalin's time, many of them are tortured to confess fictional crimes and are then sentenced to dozens of years of prison. The Let My People Go campaign works to release all 28 prisoners. The campaign informs the public about their fates, lobbies for the release in international forums, supports their families, works with lawyers and organizes solidarity events. Their release will only be possible under public and international pressure. Help create this pressure. Tell the world about the Kremlin's hostages.